was that? You're all alone and don't have any pals to play Splatoonies with? Well, and now we got a fix for that. In the form of pools. And you might be wondering, what, what the heck is a pool? How do I do a pool? I see table turf. I see private battles. I see regular battles. I see anarchy. I, I don't see pools. So what you have to do is look two steps to your right. You're gonna go one step, two steps, till you see where the big old envelope is. As your eyes begin to filter to the right, you're gonna see a button that says join pool. You're gonna press the plus button to join the pool. The game will tell you to enter the name of the pool you would like to join. After joining, you'll be able to send and receive notifications with other players in the pool. You wanna select okay. It's gonna bring you to a different screen where you can enter in a pool code. I'm gonna use my pool code of Autobomb, all lowercase, just to test out this pool. So I hit okay. It will tell you the code that's so you can make sure you entered it in right before you join on in. And then you say, yeah, I joined Autobomb. Now that I'm in this pool, you might be like, hey, but, but can people, can people, can people join me? And the answer is yes. Let's say I wanted a table turf against some people. I could select table turf battle. I could create a room and say, yeah, I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna make a room. I wanna make a room, I wanna be in a room. Please let me in. Now I've got this empty table turf room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out a notification asking for people to join me that are also in this autobomb pool. If someone's available, They'll show up in the pool, and then you can play with them. You hop on over to the desk, and you can play table turf with them. It'll tell you, hey, you've been challenged by this person. Whether you have them added on your friends list or not, you can play with them. As you can see, while I'm playing table turf against this person, there are extra people watching the match now than before because someone else was in the pool and decided, hey, I, I want in on that. And just like that, we tabled and we turfed while two people watched. Something that normally you had to add people to do, but you can just do now for yourself. And even better, even when playing with people in these pools, you can level up your table turf rank at the same time, which is so awesome. Look, by the time we're done, we ended up with a whole squad of people here just playing table turf. Look at this, I can watch spoken drama in their fight, in their table turf, look how close of a game this is. You could spectate and you could leave if you wanted to. It's just a thing that you could do with anybody. No need for friend codes at all. You can just start playing the game and then when you're all done, leave the lobby. Of course, as usual, like with private battles, if you're the host, Leaving the lobby would break the lobby, so it's better not to do this if people are actually, you know, playing table turf in your room. If you want to join or leave a pool, you have to go to the middle option. So, I dipped from the pool. I left Vic Test. And I'm like, man, oh man, I really want to play with my friends. Sad. Sad face. Sag. So I go to join pool. And I hit OK. I type in the pool code, which at this time is Vic Test. You can play any kind of game while in a pool. Thank you also, Jen, Jen, Laura, for the sub. So I'm gonna join Vic Test. We can stay in the pool forever like a community. Yeah, you could if you wanted to. So I joined the pool, and now what happens is there's a bunch of rooms that seem to be joinable. People are, people are doing their own thing. People are doing their own thing. I have my notifications thing here, and I try to find the right one. Like, I'm gonna try and hop into this one, which has like five people in it. And we'll see what's going on here. Oh, never mind. That one's full. Let's see, can we do any Cinder? Yippee! I'm in the pool right now with people, and there were people doing table turf while we were PBing while doing a different PB lobby. Like right now, like Cute Rat in the gang, like I can I can join Cute Rat's lobby if it's open still. Cause these people are finishing up their games before they quit and I'm gonna make a new pool. So like I was just in a PB with people. I just dipped from the PB 
and now I'm over here and I can go engage and participate or watch the things that are going on over here. Like, I know for a fact I don't have all nine of these people added. I didn't add anybody tonight while I was playing Splatoon, but I was able to play with dozens and dozens of people anyway. Which is something that normally I wouldn't be doing. I usually would have to spend a bunch of time adding people, but I was able to just swap from lobby to lobby playing with different people without touching my friends list once. We never would have been able to do that before this. And room codes are a wonderful step in the right direction to make things easier. The best thing is, the person who created the lobby code originally does not need to stay online for the lobby to still exist. While I am the host of this particular table turf lobby, the entire pool created by the room code will continue to persist even after I go offline or go to bed. So people could keep using this code even after I'm honk shooing. It's a good system and it will help not only for the casual community, not only for the streaming community, but also for those who just want to be able to reach out to a friend and play together without needing to whip out the goofy 12 digit like friend code. They just play right away. It's awesome. Now, excuse me, I gotta get back to some more table turf. Bye-bye.